Hello you absolute beauties and welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness guys, it's here. This is the most sought after video of the year, every year, and I'm so excited to bring it to you. In fact, I felt a little bit pressured this year because the last year's one has had so many views and it's literally the top watch video every single week for the whole year. So no pressure, Lauren, no pressure. Anyway, here we are and I have very, very carefully curated my list of wedding trends for 2024 and into 2025 because let's be honest, the wedding trend shelf life has quite a longevity because of how long engagements tend to be, which is a nice one, which is good. So you're not kind of always chasing after the next trend and then worrying that it's going to be out of fashion. They have quite a long lifespan, which is amazing. But anyway, guys, I am so excited to get into this video. But first of all, if you are new here, welcome. I'm Lauren. I'm a wedding planner, owner of Bluebird Creative and Bride Academy, and I provide weekly tips and tricks for the modern day couple as well as digital downloads. So guys, let's do it. I'm so excited. We've got a lot to get through. So let's just, let's just do it. Go. Okay guys, starting off at the top, we are beginning with bride speeches. Now let me just say that some of these trends won't be like something that's completely new and that you're like, wow, I've never seen that before. But these are things that are coming back into fashion, coming into trend that we have seen grow throughout 2023, or we've seen little seedlings of them arising in 2023. And I think that they're gonna be more prominent in 2024. Some of them have just got more longevity and we're gonna see them kind of growing in popularity in 2024 or just sustaining their popularity. Bride speeches is something that I've definitely seen grow in popularity over the last year, and I think it's set to do so even more. Gone are the days where it's all men having speeches. Now we've got brides standing up, we've even got maids of honour, we've got mums, and it's epic. What I will say on this one is just try and keep the speeches to 30 minutes, if you can, because that's your sweet spot. So whoever's speaking is amazing but just consider how many speakers you have. But absolutely here for the bride speeches. I love that. I think it's amazing that brides now get the opportunity and are wanting to stand up and say thank you to their guests and say a little bit about their husband as well or their wife. So absolutely here for it. So let's move into kind of the food and drink trends that I think we're seeing over the next year or that are gonna rise over the next year. So one of them is what's being served at the wedding breakfast. So typically, traditionally, typically, couples will serve something fizzy, usually champagne or Prosecco for the toast, and then they will have on offer tap water or bottled water and red wine and white wine. What I've started to see creep up over 2023, and I think we're going to see it so much more in 2024, because I know my couples already are choosing it, is not offering red wine. Now, I am an avid red wine drinker. I am very much here for a Chianti Classico, a beautiful Rioja Reserva. Yes, thank you very much. But if you're having a summer wedding, I don't know about you, I don't drink red wine in the summer. So couples are going for white wine and rosé. And since rosé has really started to get more prominence over the years with the Provence rosé coming in, yes, I am a wino, can you tell I love my wine? But we are seeing that rise of beautiful rosés. And so they're actually having their own moment at weddings and it's brilliant. So couples just choosing not to even put the red wine on offer. I'm here for this trend. I know that a lot of guests are absolutely loving it. A really lovely chilled glass of rosé or a white wine is a fantastic addition to the wedding breakfast meal. It's great. Obviously, if you're deciding to have a beef or a lamb, you may wish to have red instead. It's totally up to you, but I'm here for this trend. I love it. Next up on the list is champagne towers. Now, I don't think these are particularly new, are they? We've seen them cropping up over the last couple of years. However, that being said, I don't think they're going anywhere. They're fun and we all love fun. They create fantastic photo opportunities. They are just fun. And if you are a couple that is all about the party vibes, then champagne towers are absolutely the way forward. What I will say as a little bit of a tip is you do not need to have the champagne tower, including all the glasses or the quantity for the amount of guests that you have. You could do it where you just do a base of four by four and you build it upwards. 
it's roughly around 30-ish glasses off the top of my head. And then if you want to offer drinks to the rest of the guests, then you can literally just have them poured and served out on tray service. That way you're not being a bit too risky. And also it, it's very messy. It's very, very messy. And you'll also be there pouring it for ages. So highly recommend just doing that size champagne tower, but absolutely here for it. Love a champagne tower. Moving on is very similar to the champagne tower. Now, if you're not really into bubbles or you're kind of done with the champagne or Prosecco at that point in the day, then this is something that I haven't seen much of yet, but I think is going to start having its moment in 2024. And that is cocktail towers so think espresso martini in a similar coupe glass and we are stacking that up for the cocktail hour ready to go into the evening reception they could already be poured and made because obviously they're not quite as easy as just pouring out an espresso martini but they could actually already be made and then just the top glass left for you guys to perhaps shake the cocktail maker pour the last bit in have a sip and let your guests help themselves totally here for that espresso martini my favourite cocktail, that and an amaretto sours, just if you wanted to know. Loosely following the food and drink trends are cake meadows. Now, if you don't know what a cake meadow is, I will pop a little picky up here for you. Absolutely stunning, right? So cake meadow is a flower or floral arrangement that is placed on the table around your cake. So it can be done in kind of a meadow shape, it can be little bud vases, but essentially it's floral decoration by your florist, not by your cake maker, that is placed around the cake, but they will work together on the morning for the setup. I love these because the cake is always such a focal point for photos, so really sort of making that a bigger moment. I mean, I'm always here for the moments. So I love this trend. You can also do them around the base of the table as well if you really wanna go for it. But I'm loving this trend of it actually around the cake. I think it's really cool. Another one of our trends is also related to cake and that is a private cake cutting. Now I haven't seen loads of this, but this is a trend that I think is going to pick up in 2024 because it's a vibe. We did it with one of our couples earlier this year and basically it was a storm. The cake was supposed to be set outside in this beautiful kind of like stone dome in a garden and we had torrential rain and a storm and it was a nightmare. So the cake never got set up outside. The wedding was in a marquee. Later on in the afternoon during the wedding breakfast, the skies cleared. We got a little bit of sunshine. And the cake was phenomenal. I'm going to show you a photo because the cake itself was just a moment, okay? I mean, literally the most phenomenal cake I ever did see. So we know that the couple were desperate to try the cake and really wanted photos of them cutting the cake. So we managed to get it set up outside. We moved some floral arrangements out around to create a really special moment. We went and got the couple and they came and had their own private cake cutting moment. And I joke you not, it was everything. It was everything. It was just them and us and they cut the cake. They had a little moment. They fed each other a piece of cake without all their guests watching, which I won't lie, guys. It's a bit awkward. It's a bit weird, isn't it? And it was really, really lovely. They also gave us a slice of cake, so it was a bonus. But that aside, absolutely loved that. And they were like, wow, we wish we'd actually just thought this and planned it into the timeline anyway, because it was really special for them. So I think more of that in 2024 is absolutely a good thing. So moving into parts of the wedding day, little trends here. So first of all, live entertainment during the wedding breakfast. Again, I think weddings are really leaning into the party vibes now for 2024 and I'm a party girl, so I'm totally here for these trends. They are super, super fun. And your wedding day is supposed to be fun. You've got all your favorite people around you. Now this one is where you have live entertainment, musicians, etc., all playing during your wedding breakfast. But I don't mean just a pianist playing, which again, I love, but I mean like full on entertainment that gets the guests up and dancing. It's super, super fun. We've had this at several weddings that we've done, but something that I will note is that if you don't have a wedding coordinator, please, please communicate this to your venue and to your caterers because it stuffs up the timing of your dinner service. So you need to make sure that they are aware that perhaps the menu 
is not something that is so critical on the timing because if everybody's up and dancing, it's very hard for the caterers to come around and do service. That being said, it's super, super fun, but communication is key with this trend. Another trend where it comes to parts of the day is confetti cannon first dances. Oh! so fun so much fun guys here's a picture from one of our clients weddings this year where they had a confetti cannon and i loved it the dj took full control of this he did two throughout the first dance he timed it to the music he was hidden behind the dj booth literally watching the sound waves and then he literally timed it to the music and it was everything absolutely everything i loved it it was such a vibe and the photos are epic don't you agree? So more of this in 2024. We're seeing a lot of DJs including this in their packages as well. It's definitely a trend. I dare you to do it, it's fun. Let's hop on to photography trends. So we are definitely seeing film photography coming back. This has been coming over the last couple of years and it's really cool, really retro, bit nostalgic, and it's a lot of sort of editorial, contemporary style photographers, fine art photographers that are having a play again with real film photography. This isn't something that you can just ask your photographer to do. It'll be part of the service or the packages that they already provide, and you'll typically see it in their portfolio. But really cool, loving to see this sort of coming through again and just sort of seeing how photographers are getting creative so let's move on to outfits and attire so one of the trends that we're seeing grow in popularity is black tie weddings and i'm totally here for a black tie wedding they're so smart all the men look so so dapper and it just really makes you feel super special especially if you're someone that has to wear a suit on a daily basis for work anyway you want to make sure that you actually feel different on your wedding day and more special so black tie absolutely but also it means that the women are coming in full length dresses they're really going for it with their outfits and i love working a black tie wedding and outfit spotting it's one of my favorite pastimes at a wedding when i'm working i'm working very hard but at every wedding i always decide at the end of the wedding what was my favorite dress because if you don't know already i love clothes um, so definitely, definitely here for a black tie wedding. So smart, so timeless, so elegant, love it. Next on the attire front, we have guest colour palettes. Now, you might be wondering right now, what on earth is a guest colour palette, Lauren? Well, what I mean is when you're sending out your invites to your guests, you might want to say to them, the theme of the wedding is pink. So everybody has to adhere to the colour palette, whether that's men wearing a pink tie or a baby pink blazer or some pink shoes or even just a simple pink handkerchief women in pink jumpsuits pink dresses pink blazers all the things shoes so that when the guests arrive they all have that element of the color palette in their attire and it's super cool like super cool i don't think it's a massive ask because you don't have to necessarily adhere to it with your whole outfit just having an element of it i think it's really fun i'm totally here for this trend and i can't wait to see it grow in popularity and kind of see how guests take it just the pictures of these are just really cool. We've got some awesome ideas as well in our booklet. If you guys didn't know, we've created a booklet with all these trends, by the way, which I will link down below for you. It's absolutely free. It's easy for you to consume all the trends and keep hold of. Final trend on dress and attire front is outfit changes for the bride or the groom, to be fair. So we are seeing women changing their outfit towards the latter part of the wedding day. Now, this has actually been a question that's come up in my Facebook quite a lot as to when to actually make that change. And my advice is to always do so around the first dance. What you wanna do is consider, when you look back at your first dance photos, what outfit do you want to be wearing? My personal opinion is you'll be in your probably more traditional classic outfit throughout the whole day and in all your photos from the day, Bear in mind how long your photographer is going to be staying. Not always that much later than the first dance. So I personally would change before the first dance and have my new outfit on for the first dance. Because also after the first dance, do you want to leave the dance floor and get changed? It's up to you. But definitely here for outfit changes. Something a bit more fun, a bit more dance friendly. It's a vibe. It's part, of the, it's part of the 2024 party vibes. Maybe that is the theme of 2024 weddings. 
it's all about the party. Another trend which I have been very pleasantly surprised with its kind of resurgence is Message in a Bottle. Now Message in a Bottle is a form of guest book. So we've had obviously traditional guest books where you just write messages. We have had Polaroid guest books which just don't seem to be going out of trend at all and understandably they're fun, they're easy. Audio guest books have made a bit of an appearance over the last few years. Message in a Bottle's coming back guys. I did it at my wedding nine years ago and I've had several clients start to do it at the back end of this year. It's understandable. I totally understand why. So message in a bottle is where you choose a bottle. Now you might just get any old bottle. I, for example, got an old vintage wine bottle of a bottle of wine that we liked. You might want to get a gin bottle of your favourite gin. You might want it to have relevance. You might not. It's up to you. You then want to get little post-it notes or little note cards and perhaps some little stickers and some pens and you pop on the bottle or a sign or anything like that that you want your guests to leave you a note and that you're going to open the messages from the bottle on your first wedding anniversary so they'll then scroll up all the little messages stick them together with a sticker hence the sticker and post them into the bottle and then on your first wedding anniversary you take all the you shake out all the uh, the messages and you have a giggle and you really do have a giggle we reminisced on our first wedding anniversary and it was very funny and obviously some of the messages get very silly as more alcohol is consumed as well but it's lovely one of my couples recently had three bottles and i think they had first wedding anniversary third and fifth which again is a fab idea so really enjoying seeing this trend start to come back and looking forward to more people doing it in 2024 right let's get into the design trends that i think we're going to be seeing more of in 2024 so first of all is color pops this year i have seen a lot of my favorite color combo which is orange and pink clashing during the summer months and i love that color palette be interesting to see if we see a lot of that coming through again in 2024. But I don't have a particular colour for you this year. I find that with weddings, there's not always necessarily a set colour that we see. I've seen a trends video recently telling us that blue is going to be the colour of 2024. And I'm not convinced it is, if I'm totally honest with you. I'm not a massive fan of blue myself anyway, but I don't think we're going to be seeing loads of blue thinking of the clients that I've got booked for next year, we're not planning on blue weddings. So I don't think it's gonna happen, but Colourpop is definitely happening. And that just means choosing a, a selection of beautiful, bright colours. People are not just sticking to pastels anymore. They are embracing fun, vibrant colours. Again, fun, fun and party. People are just celebrating with fun and I love that. So Colourpop Weddings for 2024, I think is absolutely a thing. Next up is table plan displays. Now I may have mentioned this in my 2023 video, I can't remember, but I'm totally here for it guys. I'm probably gonna say this every year because this is a trend that I love and that I want. <laughs> when it comes to table plan displays, it doesn't just have to be a Fomex board with the tables, the names placed on an easel. Now there is nothing wrong with that, my friends. And I know that sometimes these displays can take a lot of time. They can perhaps not be so cost effective as you'd like them to be. But I love a personalized table plan display. We created this for one of our clients this year and it was was so fun to create. Whenever I'm designing for a client, I always say, right, can you leave me with this? Can, do you trust me? Can I design something for you? And when I present it, they're always like, yes, let's do it, Lauren. This was wildflower seeds popped into little envelopes. We had everything hand calligraphied. We chose all the Greek tile wallpaper to go on the boxes. We painted it, it was super fun. And yes, I appreciate its time, but it was really fun. And it created a real moment on the wedding day. Like everybody enjoyed finding the seed packets. Like it was, it was lovely, it was really lovely. So more of that in 2024, I think. Personal, fun moments throughout the wedding day. Next on the list is patterned table linen. I think this is coming, my friends. I have not seen loads of this in 2023, but being the design buff that I like to think that I am and loving design, I can see this coming through, absolutely for sure. There aren't loads and loads of companies offering patterned tablecloths at the moment, but they are coming. 
and it's definitely an interiors trend and these sorts of things tend to start in the interiors world and then they filter through into the wedding world. We've started toying with it with some of our weddings at the end of this year and some of my workshops and I think we're going to see more of it in 2024 and even more so in 2025. So definitely if you're up for a bit of playfulness with your tablescapes then look at getting a patterned tablecloth that doesn't mean you have to have massive polka dots you can have a beautiful elegant floral design on your tablecloth it can look absolutely stunning definitely up for seeing that it can be fun and vibrant and just energetic or it can be still really soft and classic and elegant then we've got obscure shapes now bear with me when it comes to stationery we've seen a lot of kind of the arched stationery signage over the last year or so and I think people are still playing with shape and seeing other ways that they can kind of experiment and we're starting to see a lot of wiggles and I'm totally here for the wiggly edges so a lot of stationary menus and place names are starting to see these wiggles whether it's actually around the edges or whether they're just drawing it on the actual design and it can even be placemats so the likes of H&M for example have had placemats with wiggly edges so when, again when we start to see these designs coming in in the interiors and the home space Spaces, they start to filter through into the wedding world so it can look really cool really fun can be fun and joyful can also be elegant and timeless so again I've given some examples in the trends booklet so if you download that for free you'll see some of the images that kind of go along with these trends as well two more trends left guys that's it the next one is lamps now table lamps for your wedding breakfast setup kind of pookie style lamps cordless really cool different shades can be quite small little ones or can be a little bit taller this is definitely definitely a design we're going to start seeing more of in 2024 one because it's cool and we're starting to see it in interiors two because a lot of venues are implementing a lot of rules now for live flames and therefore you can't necessarily have candles which is sad but you know we've got alternatives there's obviously led versions but you can't really get beautiful tapered dinner candles with an led getting the casings that cover the taper candles can be extremely expensive so cordless lamps are absolutely a really stylish way to work with those venue rules and regulations we used them recently at one of my workshops and they absolutely were a vibe we're also using them at a wedding this week so i have no pictures to show you yet but i will definitely be sharing them on my Instagram when I can so definitely a trend for 2024 and really I think possibly one of my favorite ones that I'm looking forward to so guys final trend for 2024 is napkin waving and big entrances now this one is not new it's not new but it is growing it is growing in popularity and it is one of my absolute favorite moments on a wedding day because again it's just it is energy it is energy now this is when you're entering the wedding breakfast typically your guests will go in they'll take their seats and you'll be the last ones to come in you get your toastmaster to announce you in now when we organize this with our clients we make sure we understand how do you want to be announced in do you want a piece of music to be announced in the answer is always yes by the way and do you want your guests doing napkin waving those are the three questions we ask and then we usually prep the toastmaster to make sure that they're aware of all the things that are happening and then the couple gets announced in typically the guests are woo and it's so fun the music's playing in the background it's a vibe again party vibe 2024 weddings so there we go guys all my wedding trends to 2024 is going to be a fun year of weddings is it not i cannot wait to see these happening now as always guys you do not need to follow wedding trends they are not obligatory it is totally up to you these are inspiration of what we are seeing that's growing in popularity and what i think is going to continue through into 2024 and 2025 do not feel obligated to follow any of these if you do want the booklet that goes along with this video then obviously as i mentioned it is linked below so click that it's absolutely free and it'll give you a little bit of inspo and something to refer back to as always guys have an amazing week i'll be back next week with some more wedding planning goodness hope you enjoyed the video share with me of course down below which trends you loved because i cannot wait to hear if you're going to use any of them Thank you.